Hello everybody and welcome back for more Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I'm Hunter the one who is their friend, a polar bear. And in the last part, we finally boarded the XS Express and in this part, we're going to continue our investigations as Luigi the Wah! Our official title. Official title for real. Official, official real title. Real title, do not deny, it is real. Did we already get the... We, also, oh no wait, I can't do another thing. I, I have discovered an interesting trick in the original Paper Mario. If you do the, the spin thing, and then you hammer, it actually counts as a spin jump. It's weird, I know. I don't know, I don't know why. It just does. Don't ask me, I don't know. It's weird, it doesn't make any sense to me either. But that, that's what it is. That's what it is, kids. So I'm just gonna go to the front of the train to get this thing because I'm thinking about it now so uh yeah because uh right around here somewhere there it is ta-da yay badge yeah it's it's there don't know why it just is anyway hello Mr. Conductor Engineer person running this train during the sunset is the high point of every day for me so let's all hear it for the Excess Express! Huzzah! Huzzah! Okay, yeah, yeah, you were... Cool, whatever. I don't care. So, actually, we don't, we need, we don't need to go there right now. I just went there because I felt like it. Technically, didn't even have to go there, but I did anyway because I'm dumb! Yay for being dumb! But, yeah, we're actually gonna have to go to the back of the train again. Because uh, that is where the plot is located. Ooh. Yes. So get used to this. Running around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Got to follow a rainbow. Uh, I'm actually going to store a few things. Because I can. And because I have the mindset to think about storing th things. Such as this. And also this. I'll be using them later maybe. Probably not. But you never know. I might. And, uh, nah, I think we're good. If we really need it, we can uh, come back here a wee bit later and deal with it then. But not right now. Not quite yet. So, yeah. For, for basically the, the next day, I, I, I guess we'll just wear this. And then I'll show off another thing we can do with it when we get to the place, but, yeah. Just for this one occasion, I guess. There's been a lot of noise coming from your own mate with the Goldpaw family! My guess is they're having a little domestic squabble. Not that it's my business. Okay. What's going on in here? Hello? Oh, no, no, uh, no. I think we should get Little Bob the advanced learner classic series of Bomb Aubrey. Two worlds. Cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car. Or a house. Bob is too small for such things, good Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him. Honestly. <laughs> I don't want any of that stuff to talking about. You don't? What do you want? Hey, mister, are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so... You think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Uh, sure, I'm a pro. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Ooh. Okay, I'm down for this. I don't even know where to begin. Except I do. This is the notes. Wait for it. And... Okay. Yeah. Alright. Hello. I can hear everything that the family's finding about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that! <laughs> oh, so that's what it is. Well, we'll just have a talk with Bob then. Okay then, here's a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now you've got it, don't ya? Okay. Oh, you just said it again. Okay, yes. Uh, yes. And I'm running out as fast as possible, so we don't have to do the thing with those two. All too, too much. 
Ah, uh, yes. So yeah, he wants the engineer's autograph, and we will retrieve it for him. Post haste. Post haste. Did we return the Galapod? I think we did. Just double check. Oh, yes, we did. Okay, we're just making sure. Because uh, we can't get anything that we missed on the XX Express later, because, you know, it's not a one-time thing. We can take this train back and forth as many times as we want. But I figured we might as well get a few things out of the way right now, because I'm thinking about it. And, uh, yeah, I, I kind of did a dumb thing and should have waited to come here until, you know, I did the thing with the little kid, but I didn't. Because I'm dumb. And I'm going to jump out the train. I cannot. Well, there goes that idea. So yeah, we need to talk to this man over here for his autograph. Autograph. And I'm not doing the warrior voice because I don't want to do it for a 20 part, uh, 20 minute episode. You no, know, it hurts. You want my autograph, sir? Oh! It's for little Bob! Well, yes, of course! Here you are, sir! You got an autograph, and yet I do the Toad voice anyway, even though I said the Warrior voice would hurt too much. Uh, the autograph of the XS Express Engineer. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That sounds fantastic. Well, don't you feel just delighted. What do you have to say about this, Miss Mass? Mm, I don't think there's anything near here, sweetie. I guess so. That means we're done here. We're not going to be coming back to that place for a long, 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 long time. That we need to because it's kind of it's just it's just the engineer's room. But who needs to know how the train runs? I don't. Well, maybe I do. So, if, so. so how about that paper jam? I know it's like a month since that thing was announced, but like still, I'm pretty excited for it in a moderate sense. I beat Dream Team recently, and that was that was okay. And before people said it's like the partners in time thing where it's going to age like terrible. Which admittedly, looking back at Partners of Time, yes, kind of did, but the final boss of Partners in Time is still awesome, so I don't care. Uh, wait, I already talked to you. Yes, 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 sir. We have to talk to Bub, because we got his little autograph thing. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Yep, here it is. Autograph. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Transport. I don't know why he just has one. He just does. Thanks to the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Alright. And that takes care of that. Now it is night time. Ooh. 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 So yeah. Uh what do we have next? Mr. Mr. Conductor Man person. Mr. Mario! I'm glad you spoke to me! I just remembered something suspicious! I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers! I gave the last punch as during my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. Honestly? Great, thanks! Well, I have to keep watching it, but I'll be waiting for the good news. You're welcome, I guess. All right, so let's start interrogating everybody, even though I have the answer written down. Oh, wait. No, no, you, you, you probably don't care. Besides, you probably pay for your tickets in like 10k... 10, 10k... Giant gold bars. Hello. I'm going to try to get all my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. So, uh... Could you just stay out of my way for a while? Oh, rude. Very, very rude. Very, 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 very rude. How about you, Pennington? Are you the stowaway? What's this? Is an unticketed passenger? Just as I suspected. The conductor was one like a short, eh? And we are hunting for a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in cabin 8. Rudimentary, my boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleeth apprentice. You must strike out on your own, that, that little nugget of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share, if I so choose. No, truly! For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt our yummy sticky suspect! You really sure about that, dude? You really sure about that? 
You don't even know who the young man because well we you know the Pato, but like we deduced that he couldn't have been that because that would have been dumb, but at the same time, there's no way, man. There's no way. It's just it's just no way. How goes it, traveler? Welcome to the sales stall. We have lots of souvenirs. Blah 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 blah. Okay, you just do that. Also, whoa. Great background. I could chroma key that and put in some weird things if I wanted to, but I won't. I swear. I'm not doing it right now, totally not. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Totally not doing anything weird like that. Not at all. Not at all. What are you talking about? Anyway, enough of that. I made myself fun times for editing. Because, you know, I always like to make it hard on myself to edit these videos. For no reason in particular. How about you? And uh, now, if you please, I must begin to prepare the evening hors d'oeuvres. Ah, no. Curse this Thundervine. I mean the evening hors d'oeuvres. Okay, you don't know anything about it. How about you, Toodles? Yes, her name is Toodles. Welcome to the dining car. You are just the greatest. Thanks so much for agreeing to find my sherry rings. You don't know anything about it. That's great. Uh, that's our cabin. That's a cabin that is empty, so I'm awfully suspicious about that. How about over here? How about over here? I don't think that could, I don't think the engineer would do it because you know he's the engineer freaking near. How about you, Mr. Zip Toad? He guy getting falsely accused is a bummer, right? Don't I know it? Okay, so you have nothing to provide. Cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Actually, you know what? For flavor tech's sake, let's see if he does say anything. If not, I'm just gonna back out because uh, be pointless. Uh, driving. Driving at night is so mysterious. What with the lights and bugs and whatnot. So let's all hear it for the Access Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! You know, that melody changed the last time I talked to you, and I don't know why it did. Perhaps I've uh, got a problem with that short-term memory thing. Or not. I'm weirdly out of... I'm weirded out by the lack of symmetry in this place. It's like... It's like... It's no... <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird to me. It's like... There should be a door here. And instead, there's this door here. I guess, you know... Yeah, whatever. So that was Zip Toad's cabin, and in this cabin there is... Oh! No, wait, you're Toodles. Wait, are you Toodles? One of you is Toodles. You're Toodles. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man, you. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Sure. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me? You boldly brilliant man, you. Sure, we'll do that, I suppose. Alright, that leaves only one person that we have yet to talk to on this train. Besides the Goldbot family, which I doubt they did anything with it. How about you, though? You seem like the kind of guy who'd need two blankets instead of one. How about it? I heard some noises in the room next door a little while ago. Weird ones. But when I looked in there, it was empty. It was like, okay, that was freaky. Then when I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking that room for me? Okay. So noises that are only there if you're not there. Hmm. 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 Fail! Oh my god, it's a ghost! <laughs> so you found me. Well, as you see, I am a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. Blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Fine. 
All I need is... YOUR LIFE! No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear is that someone would read it. And if they found it, and if they do, yes, words. Mm -hmm. You can read that, can't you? I'm sure you can. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Okay. And don't you even dare read my diary! Because if you do... <laughs> oh, but fate awaits you! I got the biggest smirk across my face right now. You don't even know. You do not even know. Also, I'm gonna try a little thought experiment. Why is it a thought experiment? I don't know. Okay, not yet. Maybe not at all. Possibly not at all. I was just, I was just a little thing. Don't, don't, don't ask me why I did that. Also, we're about to break logic here in a moment. In a moment. Well, not in a moment, but there is a reason why I saved. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you. Did you find it? What? A ghost? He? He won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. Yes, I have one following me through right now. Of course you won't say one. Well, it's not really a ghost. It's more like a shadow vector creature thing. A lot of long-winded explanation and nonsense. I'm taking on Miss Nas again in case... Oh, there's the diary. But first, let me just... Sniff around. Cabin. Hmm. No, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. I don't think there's anything here. Well, if there will be, there's a... No, I actually don't think there's anything here. Anything? Anything, anything at all? Let me just double check. To be sure. To, to be sure, to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. To be sure, 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 to be sure. Hmm. Nope. There isn't. Okay. Let's get the diary. Yay, diary. Ragged diary. The diary the ghost kept. You shouldn't read it. We're gonna read it. We're gonna read it. We're totally gonna read it. Because we're scumming. But first, we're gonna save. Did you find the diary? Wonderful! I knew you would! Now I cannot leave my post! Please return the diary while I stay here! Though I would like to see what's written in it. Oh, would you now? Ah, no, you don't need to know anything about it. It's probably some dark shit. It's probably some dark shit, man. It's, uh, it's probably nothing important. Probably nothing of any g great significance, but, uh, we will sneak a peek. We will peek a sneak. In just a moment. But first, I need to save. Because, uh, uh, I don't know. There's no particular reason why. Just, uh, this little thing. You know what? Fine. We'll read it with him. No, I lied. We're gonna read it right in front of, uh... Let's see, where's a good spot to read it? Ah, yes. On the chair. They have the candlelight. I can't really sit on the chair, so I'll just have to improvise and pretend I'm sitting on the chair while I read the diary. In which totally will not be anything of that bad things. To totally won't result in anything awful. No, not at all. Read the diary? Well, sure. What the heck? You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? Yeah. I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really, really bad. You understand me? Yeah? Still want to read it? Month X. Day X. Cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... You are locked! Even though I told you not to! Now see what happens! Oh god. Oh god, what's going on? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. Non-standard game over happens. Yay! Yay! Non standard game over. What else would you expect? Alright. I'll meet you back at the save point. Whoop! Yay! And uh, nothing ever happened. Nothing bad happened. See? There is a non standard game over I think I missed, and that was back in chapter 2, so I'm gonna have to replay that point in a, like a bonus video. 
where definitely missed things happened. So yeah. Anyway, here's your book. Did you find my diary? Here we go. Yes. This is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. Blanket! The conductor's blanket. Without this, he's freezing. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. Oh, you really, you really are moving on to the world beyond. Well, bye. But, well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great. Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so... That's all there is to it. <laughs> okay. It's my understanding that whenever... You know, you cleaned up your unfinished business, you just were forced to move on, but I guess you can choose? Hmm? I don't know. I don't know what the rules are on, uh, the spiritual afterlife thing. You know, in that sense of the moving on stuff. Because, yeah. Clearly the game doesn't know. Completely, anyway. It's kind of like flip-flopping between two different things. So, I don't have the foggiest. So, Mr. Mario, how did it go? I got your blanket. Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, and hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. Mush. Uh, thank you for giving me your brother's head. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For now, I am the conductor of the Excess Express. Okay. Well, uh, we should say goodnight to our uh, detective head, Pennington. Y yes, Pennington. Hi, hi, hi. Let's see. So it was not, in fact, a yummy sticky suspect. Just as I suspected. The mystery deepens. It is getting rather late. Let us turn in and work on this case tomorrow. Uh -huh. Alrighty then. We shall then. Shall with much in the clever Ah, oh, they closed. Okay, so they do close at this point. Yeah, so they so they close whenever you do like you finish like plot stuff on a day or whatever. I guess on that one occasion they do. Yeah, so th there's that. But this that that'll be a thing that like never happened ever. Basically. All right, dearie. Let's just turn in, shall we? The conductor can handle any problems. Alrighty then. Let us sleep. Go to bed. Sleepy time. Ugh. Train voyage, day two. Alright, it is a brand new day. Today's the day. Today's a new day. Today's a day. Today's a new start. I don't know why I just decided to stay. Uh, I'm going to stop there. Hello. What? Uh, email. What? What? Email. Where, where's the thing that emails? Is it this? No. Well, it's close enough. Ah, uh, RDM. RDM. Mystic Lala. Oh my god, my lovely, no! Uh, what? Well, my lovely is the fortune teller lady that tells you where things are that I never really use because of reasons. They take the house. Oh god, that's sad. Although, clearly, by hordes of concerned fans, look at the Nothing more than a severe case of indigestion called by a wild binge on eight, st <laughs> eight shrimp steaks. Oh god, that's. That's, uh. Gastro gastrointestinal adventure. <laughs> well. Oh. Ooh. What? Well, we can't do anything about that because, you know, we're on a train and we can't get off of it. Oh, yes, the peach dot. Peachy peach plus cake mix. God, that actually sounds really good. Mmm. -hmm. I don't know why that sounds good. Put it in peach slices of peach on a cupcake. What a, how how would how would how would that taste? How would that taste? That that tastes in, is yeah, interesting. Oh, hello. What's going on over here? Ah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the fact to my assistant, Luigi. 
Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product, prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital. So tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's newest product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that you can even raise the dead. But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive! The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy salak. If it's falling into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my jab. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi! Rudimentary! The thief is still on the train! Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? Yep. Both have lost something on this tray. The waitress lost shell earrings. And the lady Toodles lost the gold ring. Luigi, the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup. They could make this go blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. Got it. Where do I begin? Don't even have a foggy script. Well, go Bob one and do it. Because they're too concentrating, probably still. Are they? No, okay, they're done fighting. Top of the morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us uh, arguing worse yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. Little Bob sure has been in high spirits since yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. Well, maybe if you stopped being terrible parents and, you know, talk to your kid once in a while, you would figure out his interests. Just the suggestion. Now, let us continue down our ramifications of figuring out who done did it. it wasn't you, but we'll talk to you anyway, because I like to destroy my throat. Hello, Doc! Detective Dr. Mario! No, Detective Mario! I saw no one suspicious during the night! We will be stopping at Riverside Station today! Now I'm... Dusk, I believe. Okay, cool. So that's a that's a note for note. Good thing to know. On note. On note, indeed, good sir. Well, I don't think you would do it because you're in the shop and you were probably sleeping in the shop because you have nowhere else to sleep. Which is kind of sad when you think about it. You wouldn't do it, but let's ask anyway. Hello, it is a good feeling day, isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. It will make food so delicious, it would make the day mad. <laughs> okay. Sure. How about you, Matredi? Good morning, so any chance you have seen my shell earrings anywhere? Nope, sorry. I have yet to find them. Unfortunately. So, where does that leave us? Well... The ghost had explained last night that he cannot hold physical objects, even though he gave us a blanket the night before. But I would not trust him to steal anything. This is, as he said before, you can't leave the cabin. Yeah, except when it's important to the uh, an outstanding game over, in which he totally can. But I wouldn't understand what reason the ghost would have to do it at all. It doesn't hurt to check anyway. You know, might as well suspect everyone, not no one. Here you are. Waiting for you. Hello. Good morning. Isn't the weather nice today? Days like today make me feel like I'm floating on air. <laughs> okay, you definitely don't have anything to talk about. Alright, uh, a couple more people. Ah, the Fato, you did it! Hey, morning, Mr. Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad, shadowy nightmare. But thanks to that incident, the cook and I are pals now. Is it life weird? Okay, so... You definitely didn't do it. 
because uh, you don't seem like that type of person to do a thing such as, you know, that. Mm, you know what? No, let's, 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 let's. I think uh, here is a good point to stop. We did things today. We mostly ran around a train back and forth and talked a lot, but next part, things will happen. Things involving fighting enemies, which we haven't done in a while, I don't believe. So, yeah. Anyway, but I'm in this mouse to give the attention she deserves and needs, at least for this one chapter. Next time on Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we will be finding out who is indeed the person that sent us the yummy sticky threat note thing. Really, there's only a few people left, so uh, it's just a matter of our process of elimination, isn't it? So until then, see you later, and goodbye.